Today we will be using some advanced masking techniques to do different edits on minute selections using Lightroom mobile app. This should apply to desktop app too as it has almost the same features. You will learn how to add or subtract selections while using masks in this video. This is the image I am gonna work with. It's a JPEG converted from RAW. Still lot of details for us to recover. Starting here from the light menu. Increasing the exposure. Also shadows to get as many details from the foreground. Not too worried regarding the background right now as we'll be altering it a bit. Now I'm gonna directly go to the masking menu. The first one in this list. Here I'll be doing separate edits with the main subject in my mind. Tapping this plus button, you can see the options here. I'll be choosing select subject to select the person. Adobe AI has made a quite good selection here. I'll go with it. Other than the subject, I want to also add parts of the foreground to this selection as I'll be doing similar edits there. Tapping on the plus minus button and choosing add to mask one. Then linear gradient. Dragging the gradient to get parts of the foreground here. You can see the selection is added to the main subject. I'll be also making different edit to the background. So long tapping the mask. I'm gonna choose duplicate and invert mask. Here you have got a new mask now with the background selected. Just a bit of tuning the selection. Moving the linear gradient a bit up. Going back to the original mask, increasing white to pop the foreground. Also adding saturation in color menu. Bit of clarity in FX menu. You can hide and show the mask for before and after the mask edits. Now going to the background mask, reducing the exposure a lot here. We'll recover some of it in the FX menu by adding haze by dragging the dehaze slider to the left. Making the background a bit dull compared to the foreground. Now I'm gonna add one more mask only of the subject. Here increasing the whites. Adding more temperature to make the subject warm. I'm gonna try displacing the location of the sun here. To do that, first I'm gonna add radial filter on top of the location of the sun. Making sure the feather is set to 100. First reducing the exposure. Also whites and blacks. Increasing the shadows to reduce contrast. Also reducing the temperature to remove warm colors. One linear gradient around the top right corner till it covers almost the whole background. Reducing the exposure to make the part darker. Adding some temperature as I'll be adding sunlight to the sky. Now a few radial filters. One bigger one. Adding haze using dehaze slider. More temperature. Adding orangish tones in the color menu. One more radial gradient around here. Doing similar tuning. So with two radial filters it has become more bright. One more small one around the left edge to replicate a shining evening sun. 
adding more haze, more whites and bit more exposure. And temperature too in the color menu. You can see we change the complexion of the image completely here. Now a big radial filter which covers the whole left part. I'm going to invert the mask selection here. Now reducing the exposure which basically affects outside of the radial filter. Adding bit of temperature. This also gives a vignette effect around the sun. One linear filter at the bottom to make that part more dark. Reducing the exposure. You can notice the back of the subject's head is more bright than its front. We'll try to correct it by adding subject mask first. Then tapping subtract mask and choosing the brush option. Sliding this menu on the left, you can resize the brush. Also tune the feather. Brushing on the subject. Note that we are basically removing the selection from the main subject here. Now we have only the back part of the head selected. Now tuning this part by reducing highlights and whites to make those parts dull. Similar edit now but for the front part of the face. I will duplicate this mask. Again subtracting the selection using brush option. This time to select only the front portion of the head. Reset the sliders. Tuning to make these parts pop a bit more. Now for some global tuning. Going to color menu mix. Doing some individual color tuning. Tuning contrast with curves in the light menu. Adding selective sharpening in detail menu. Using masking slider to get only parts of the image selected. The final result here. Hope you found some useful tips regarding how to use masks in Lightroom. We'll be back with more tips, so keep subscribed. Thanks for watching.